today is an exciting day because you've already learned all of your lowercase letters and now it's time to focus on uppercase cursive letters. So right now I'm on page 39, but let's go ahead and turn to page 40. Okay, so we are on the letter A and I wanna point out the screen a little bit because as we move into uppercase or capital letters, uh, it's gonna look a little bit different. So we're still going to do a pencil spot. So you should not be writing. You should not even have your pencil in your hand. But we're gonna do the top part the same way as before where I show you first while your pencil's in the pencil spot. Then we do some together. And then by yourself, you'll do the tracing and the in-betweens, but there's not quite as many as before. There's just that one line, although you are doing three lines of practice total. Then you've got a list of words. Now the words I think you'll really enjoy because the first two are school related words. So something that has to do with school. Then you have an adjective. An adjective is a describing word. So it describes a person, place, or thing. It describes a noun. And then a name could be a boy's name, girl's name, doesn't matter, but there's gonna be a name on each page. And then the last one is a silly word. So it might be one that you've heard of before and it might be a new one and I'm gonna tell you what it means. So you'll get to learn some silly words each time we do cursive together. So go ahead and make sure, like I said, that your pencil's in the pencil spot and let me show you the letter A. It really is very similar to the lowercase letter A where you do like a circle letter. Remember you did the circle letter and then you connect at the bottom. The only big difference is instead of going from the middle to the bottom, like we did with the lowercase a's, you're going to go from the top to the bottom. All right. And if you notice here, it's almost a little pointier, more of like a teardrop shape. So remember, your pencil is down and you're just going to watch me do one. And I'm just going to do an in-between. That's it. I'm going to start at the top. I'm gonna kind of curve down, make like a teardrop, go all the way back up. So I've gone from the top to the bottom and now ninja back down so you can connect to your next letter. So as you notice, a uppercase A is going to connect to the next letter at the bottom. You'll notice that with our uppercase capital letters, some connect at the bottom, some don't connect at all, all right? So go ahead and pick up your pencil and let's do the first one together. Notice we're starting at the top. Look at the arrows and the numbers that it shows us. And let's do number one together. Ready? Sort of the top, curve around to make it all the way to the bottom. You're gonna teardrop it back up so it's a little bit pointy and then ninja down to connect. Do another one. Start at the top, curve around till you get to the bottom, back up to the top to make a teardrop, ninja down and connect. Let's do another one. Start at the top, all the way to the bottom, back up to make a teardrop, ninja down, and connect. Before we do that last one, let's do an in-between. Ready? Start at the top, curve down to the bottom, curve back up to make like a teardrop, ninja down, and connect. And if you notice, I don't know if you notice on mine, my second one was already better than my first one because my hand had more practice. That's why we always trace it before we write it on our own. All right, one more. Start at the top, curve to the bottom, teardrop, ninja, connect. All right, so you'll trace and then trace and do in-betweens all by yourself. Notice there's an arrow to kind of remind you where the in-betweens go. But let's go ahead and spell and read these words. Here's a school word, A-N-S-W-E-R. What word is that? It's spelled weird, answer, but it's the word answer. Like if I ask you a question, I want you to give me an answer. Notice again that the for some reason this font likes the W, the little dupe should go straight into the E, but for some reason it does that funny line. Ignore that funny line. Next word, spell it. A, P, O, S, T, R, O, P, H, E. What word is it? Uh, does anybody know that? It looks like this apostrophe looks like a little flying comma 
And it's spelled kind of funny because remember, when you have that PH together, it makes a F, f sound, apostrophe. Next word is an adjective. So it describes me. A W, because it's got that little dupe. E S O M E. That's a cheer. A W E S O M E. Awesome. Awesome. Totally. Totally. So awesome describes a person. It describes me and maybe you and maybe even your teacher. <laughs> Now a name, ready? A L L I S O N. Anybody know this name? It's a girl's name, Allison. And then the last one is a silly word. Spell it. A R G L E. That's a hyphen, so it connects it. B A R G L E. E, and that silly word is argle bargle. And I know we haven't learned uppercase B, but you can trace it. So argle bargle, if somebody says that, it means like you're talking a whole bunch of just random nonsense. So if I say, hey, we already came up with our plan. Quit talking all that argle bargle. Means like you're just going through a bunch of nonsense. So remember, you're gonna go back and trace in betweens, trace in between, trace in between. Trace the word, write the word. Trace the word, write the word. And let's see if you can remember what argle bargle means for next time. You're busy.